Hi! Get ready to learn English with me in Teach Talks Easy English. It's Teach Talks Teacher Jane. Let's have Lesson 3, Interrogative Sentences. What is an interrogative sentence? An interrogative sentence is a sentence that asks a question. We have some clues on how we can identify these types of sentences. First, these questions ask a direct question. They contain a subject and verb. And of course, they end in a question mark. How do we construct an interrogative sentence? We simply follow a pattern. For example, we can use the pattern auxiliary verb plus subject plus main verb. For example, do you like me? In this sentence, the auxiliary verb is do. The subject is you and the main verb like. Aside from the given auxiliary verb, there are other examples of auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary verbs include be, do, and have. Be can be used as am, is, are, was, and were. Do can be used as do, does, and did. Have can be used as have, has, and had. In addition, we also have specific types of auxiliary verbs which are called modals or modal verbs. Modal verbs are auxiliary verbs that express necessity or possibility. These verbs are can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, and ought to. We can also use this structure, main verb be plus subject. For example, am I late for the event? The main verb is am. The subject is I. Another structure is the WH word plus auxiliary verb plus the subject and plus the main verb. For example, why did she cry? The WH word is why. The auxiliary verb is did. The subject is she. And the main verb is cry. Here are more examples of interrogative sentences. Did you like it? Did is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. And like is the main verb. Another example, where shall we go? Where is the WH word. Shall is the auxiliary verb. We is the subject. And go is the main verb. It's drill time! In our drill, you're going to say yes if it is an interrogative sentence and then no if it is not an interrogative sentence. Let's start with question number one. Who is she? Do you think it's interrogative? If your answer is yes, you are correct. It has a WH and ends with a question mark. Next. Who is that girl? Is this interrogative or not? If you answered yes, you are correct. Another question. Would you like coffee or tea? If you answered yes, indeed, this is an example of an interrogative sentence. Next. How dare you? Is this an interrogative sentence or not? If you answered no, you are correct. The answer is no because this is not a sentence, it is just a phrase. Next, am I late? If you answered yes, you are correct. This is an example of an interrogative sentence. Next, who is your new boyfriend? If you answered no, 
you are wrong. Because this is still another example of an interrogative sentence. If you can notice, it has WH, an auxiliary verb, a subject, and it ends with a question mark. Last item, where shall we go? Do you think this is an interrogative sentence? If you said yes, you are correct. That ends our drill. Was it easy for you? Do you have any questions? Did you learn something in today's Easy English? Did you enjoy? We hope to see you in our next video. Bye!